move them away uh, from the voting process and then settle those issues. Right? These Michigan election workers are receiving training on how to de-escalate angry voters. I think some people are apprehensive. I think some people have lost confidence in the elections as they are. This clerk's office near Detroit doubles as a polling station. The building recently upgraded its security. And for the first time, police officers will patrol the area on election day. The township's election playbook is full of lessons learned two years ago. Prior to 2020, yeah. our interaction with, with police was, was almost non-existent. And now? And now it is hand in hand. Emergency planning and security planning has been a key function of election planning. We were here in Detroit during the last presidential election a couple of years ago when they were counting the ballots inside this convention center and an angry crowd of Trump supporters forced their way inside that building chanting, stop the count. Stop the, count. the crowds banged on the windows and shouted at workers as they counted the mail-in ballots, including election supervisor, Chris Thomas. It really got out of hand for a few minutes. The retired bipartisan official led elections in Michigan for four decades. He's coming out of retirement this week to help protect the process from so-called election deniers. It's a huge concern. It's a real movement. I mean, it's substantial and they're vocal and uh, some of them are pretty clever on what they're trying to do. Numerous Stop the Steal groups have been training their own poll watchers and challengers. Some have even organized armed stakeouts at Dropbox voting locations. Making sure that we can oversee the process, that it's done correctly, done accurately. This so former Republican candidate was part of the Stop the Steal protest in Detroit and the January 6th riot on Capitol Hill, for which he's now facing misdemeanor charges. Two years later, do you still think the election was stolen? Of course it was, absolutely. The like Ryan Kelly, many Republican candidates have made those election fraud claims a central part of their political campaigns. Unfortunately, the city of Detroit has been plagued with election corruption for years. In Michigan, Republican candidates for Secretary of State, Attorney General, and Governor all claim the last election was stolen. If elected, they've pledged to change election rules. They could also refuse to certify election results. And so that's how the whole system starts to degrade. It's going to be one of these things you wake up to someday and you realize that the laws that have been enacted, the barriers that have been set up, the people now running elections really believe, make you believe in what may today be just conspiracies. Opinion polls show voters across party lines agree on one thing, American democracy is in danger. In this midterm, it's these election workers who need a win. Who here worked in 2020? Who here? Oh yeah, so a lot of you. And show, show of hands if you're feeling a little bit anxious this time. We got this. We got this. No Jeff Semple, Global News, Canton, Michigan.